welcome back we're here to do the karmic third party update already it's looking juicy it does appear to be that there is the inner child going on especially for those that are in a karmic relationship that are either married a family a child related subject there's something really popping off this week and i feel it's really heavy on their mind i do feel especially um what we can see coming through this week is even those that are no longer with counterpart can be having these unresolved feelings really cropping up and trying to make peace with it I, i'm hearing the term they love me they love me not i'm looking at the daisy really coming through um in this read and they're, they're feeling this um, notion that <clears throat> maybe if they gave more, maybe if they do more, um, that maybe something can go their way. I also feel praying. I feel this praying um, really coming through here. This can especially be if there is um, a family-related dynamic uh, where they're, they're hoping something is going to swing their way. I feel they're really, really feeling uncertain and, you know, something could be a real headache at the moment that they're, they're trying to be open-minded with this. They're trying to be optimistic, but they're feeling quite down about a circumstance. For some, it can be if counterpart has children, there's a little bit of conflict here. For others, it can be directly kin. It can be mother, father, brother, etc. I feel there's a blockage relating to tribe and what they are owed or what they feel. There's an emotion towards stability as well. I feel if there is a breakdown of this circumstance, I feel there's a lot of um, concerns really heavily focused in the area of love and money. I feel they're having trouble articulating what these things are. I also feel that they're quite, they're kind of hitting a, a, a roadblock. They're feeling as though they don't quite know what to do. Um, I do feel some of them are actually having an, a, an internal situation that they're not listening to their guides. They're being over-optimistic with where they're going in life. I feel it's almost this notion that everything's going to be okay. Um, wishing, praying. Um, yeah, some can be using magic, but it's it's over-optimistic. <coughs> Good old throat chakra. <coughs> Some of them are getting angry at the fact that they've given too much. Some of them are feeling as though counterpart needs to wine and dine them. There is jealousy here. There's jealousy toward, and insecurities towards, um, you know, the old vibration, especially those that are in a relationship. It can be that this person is quite up in their head that they're dealing with and they're feeling this insecurity that this person's attention is not on them. It's almost the IOU notion. Look, I've been good to you, so therefore you need to be good to me. Trying to get this person's attention. I feel there's almost a feeling of resent towards what they've been left with due to the fact of what they're currently handling and they're really feeling they're the one who's making the sacrifices, even though I feel they're bitten off their foot to spite their nose. They're very angry at the fact that counterpart isn't listening to their side of the fence or seeing um, what they're going through. And they're holding their tongue. Like they feel as though um, it's pointless. They, they're they trying to take a tac tactical approach. They're feeling it's pointless, but there is something hidden here. I feel they're biding their time so that they can turn something in their favour. And I especially feel, even those that are single, it can be that they're buying their time and they're working behind the scenes on something. I'm hearing white lie and I feel something that was a lie is going to come out. But I still feel this person, this person may have repeated a pattern here with a previous relationship, but I feel it's coming up again. 
I'm hearing the term backup plan. Some of them are feeling quite cursed, but they're, they, they're looking for a solution to a problem. I feel they feel quite threatened by this and they're going to do anything they can to have what they want. I'm going to pull a chakra card. Somebody is telling a lie here. There's something that isn't being told. There's something that's being hidden from counterpart and I feel they're, uh, they're working behind the scenes on something. This could be a third-party situation. This could be to do with their desire. This is to do with place. Um, they're saying family. It's to do with family and tribe. Something is hidden. They're hoping somebody's not going to say something. These individuals, um, <clears throat> we've got the third eye and we have insight, which both are purple chakras. I'm feeling as though there's something in the mix that hasn't been told. Some of them can be drinking and having habits. They're hiding it to deal with stress. I also feel there's money that's being hidden. Ooh. I'm telling you, please, please do a gin removal. There's so much purple here, but I'm feeling... It's because of the insecurities and the evil intent. This person is feeling quite negatively towards anything that's crossing their path. Um, yes, yeah, some of them can be doing that spiritual work. They can be praying and hoping that something is going to go their way. Some of them are tapping into vices to, to actually cope with um, the emotions that are coming up and the direct, direct frustration. Others could be directly getting readings. This can be from a more malefic point of view. We do have the coffin in the past and it's things that they haven't let go of, things that they haven't forgiven. <clears throat> I feel some of them are aware of who you are and they're trying to block that. They're doing anything they can to directly block it. They kind of feel there is this jealousy and insecurity that all the hard work they've poured into this connection is that you are going to get the star. <clears throat> And I'm hearing the term, they're going to release the Kraken. It just, it feels with the um, outcome card. It's like they're trying to hold it in. They're trying to hold it together, but there is an element of frustration and um, insecurity here. Yeah, they, if they're not as balanced, especially those that have already had a separation, I really feel um, they can, they, there is an issue going on um, in the environment. Some of them are unaccepting no for an answer. I still feel there's unresolved issues here. I feel that this individual is not um, accepting the status quo. I feel this person is meditating and getting angrier by the minute. Although they do know that they have options and they can move forward, that this is not their life's end story. I feel they're operating through the Mars energy this week in the name of love. Okay, what is the warning? What do we need to know, please? Definitely to a gender removal. Especially those of you that have been following me for a while. I'm saying this person actually, um, they're very concerned about finances. I feel some of their operation system can be based on that. 
They can directly be triggered by what they're seeing in the media, how they're feeling. They can be projecting their insecurities onto counterparts. I do feel there is a pocket group that maybe may be dealing with a person that is a little bit unstable. This can be the way they view the world, the way they see things, the way they handle things. Wellness is very much coming up. A little bit too much of a good thing I'm hearing. Okay, my guides are saying what you need to understand is what compass this person comes from, especially if you guys are privy to knowing who the karmic is. I think you need to be especially wary. Yes, definitely be open-minded, you know, especially with that transits moving forward. How you think something might go, it can go differently. For some of you, that conflict and that belief, it may have shifted. But there's something here that is coming to be balanced. Trust your instincts where it comes to this because I feel some of you are well privy to the information of who they are. And a I'm hearing the term friend request. Oh, shit. Somebody is going to send you a friend request and I feel it's a fake profile. Just be really wary who you're accepting it from and just gauge what you're saying because I feel this person is trying to gauge where you're at, what you're doing, um, especially for those of you that are cross-watching. Yeah, personal boundaries. Put your card up because I do feel they're going to start stalking you. Love and light. I will see you next week. If you do want a private reading, you can go to the link below. Otherwise, stay tuned for our Friday session. We are live and we'll do an update. Take care, beautifuls.